Our technology for equal access. Learning disabilities. My name is Shelby. This is my senior year at the University of Washington. I have dyslexia, dysgraphia, and I was diagnosed at the age of seven. So I've always had a challenge with it, but I've learned to overcome it, I think, every year. I think one of the main challenges is when um, there's a lot of reading involved. Um, right now, for my econ class, like I already have like a pretty thick textbook along with some other side readings. So having to get through the material and say like you know a day or two when it's more than a hundred chapters is a huge challenge for me. So that's also where I would definitely you know use some of my uh, text to speech capabilities. <laughs> There's an accessibility software, so I, it allows me to highlight text and then I'll read it out loud. And then I also use another program called Natural Reader. And that also d pretty much serves as the same function. But the cool thing about Natural Reader is it actually shows you like where it's reading. Disabilities through technology and education. It promotes awareness and accessibility in both the classroom and the workplace. It definitely allows it to sink in sometimes when I'm reading it alone. I just need to like hear it the first time, then I can go back and then I will actually hear, oh, this is a concept, this is something that's important, this is something we're talking about. Because when I'm just reading it myself, it takes me a lot longer, I get lost in the text, I don't have trouble like paying attention, so it really does help and it makes it so that I can complete the task at hand. It makes me feel good because at the end of the day, I'm still able to complete the tax versus staying up all night. There's been nights where I've stayed up to five in the morning just trying to grasp the, what the reading so that I would be prepared to be able to talk about it or at least say, I read this, but I didn't understand this and then create a discussion out of it. Hello, I'm Matthew. I have ADD. I have mild ASD and I've been diagnosed with mild Asperger's. I use CoWriter. It's a word prediction program. There's six words you can choose from by hitting the number key that it's the word you select out. I would use it mostly in my classes for like very important papers where I definitely would need to get the grammar correctly or the words correctly as well depending because I struggle with spelling at times. I am Jada. Um, my disability is ADD and dyslexia. So um, with ADD, I have a hard time sitting still for um, a long period of time. I use a document scanner. The scanner helps me by actually reading the content that is on a book instead of um, having read it by yourself. So with the scanner, you set it up and then you um, launch the program that is in the computer and then you can highlight or have it read to you. Even though like um, I'll study them and study and then study, uh, I tend to forget. This will help me by um, making it easier so that I can have the digital copy of it on the computer and have it read to me um, and then I can start writing notes along with it as it's like reading it to me. Just depending on your disability it really like depends how you learn. Um, I'm still definitely trying to learn about my disability um, a little bit more too. Uh, my name is Damon and I am currently a senior here at the University of Washington. I'm studying American Indian Studies and Anthropology and I have a ADD and dyslexia. For me, for example, since I have ADD and, ADD and dyslexia, I need more time to um, uh, to either read uh, the texts that were assigned or to take more time writing out the essays that we ha we are given. Being able to use computers as well, uh, having that accessibility is really helpful, whether it's in class or whether it's uh, during a test or, an, or a quiz that we're having. Especially if the test is an essay-based uh, test, it's really uh, difficult to write it down and not have a spell checker. Final thoughts. My name is Cheryl Bergstaller and I direct Accessible Technology Services at the University of Washington in Seattle. As you can see, it's really important that people with disabilities have access to the technology that they need, including assistive technology, 
so that they can be successful in education, in careers, and all of the activities that they wish to pursue. It's also important that IT developers, including those that create websites, documents, software, and other IT, make those products accessible to people who are using assistive technology and to everyone else. For more information about IT accessibility, consult uw.edu slash accessibility. This video presentation was created with funding from National Science Foundation grant number CNS-1042260. Copyright 2019, University of Washington. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged. Thank you.